WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 150, NASDAQ up 203, S&P's up 45. They ran it right into the close, folks. Gold, gold contract down $3.40, trading at 2,003 an ounce. Yet silver up 24 cents, 22 dollars 39 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 23, trading out at 76 dollars 64 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 12 ticks and trading 112 flat. 30-year up 16 ticks at 118.15 and king dollar. King dollar down 235 ticks, trading at 104.726. Euros at 107. Yen's at 150. British pounds at 125 to one U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the spy, folks. Let's get this baby up right there. Come on. All right. There we go. Bingo. Um, come on. I got you. Okay, here we go. So, spy, what the spy did out here today, you're up 440. Did 65 million shares. Bottom line, we came down out here with uh, 113 yesterday. My take is that what we're going for is we're going to go for this other high volume low, or uh, that high volume bar that was two weeks ago. You know, so I think we get a bounce going right now. I think it's going to flip around, come down, test that area, and you know we might do a little consolidation here for a bit from there to there. But this market still, to me, wants higher price. But we'll see how this shakes out. Because on the way down, what we didn't do yesterday is that we didn't even get to the highs of the high volume bar. But I suspect we're going to. Because this is like a warning shot that, okay, you stretch, you stretch, you stretch, bang, you're going to come down, it's going to be choppy. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out, but that's my take on it. We take a look at the cues, same type of setup in the cues. The calendar is set up for this also. You get the 14th out here today. It could mess around before we're talking about coming into the March number and window dressing and all of the above. You can see inside the the NDX 100, the volume actually expanded more yesterday. That says two different things. That says the lows of yesterday will get tested, but I suspect we're still going to go after the low of two weeks ago. Have a great Valentine's Day, folks. A safe Valentine's Day. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.